Hey there guys, it's James Quake, and I'm back again with some more Let's Play Game of Thrones from Telltale Games. This is the episode two. In the last part, uh, we were a squire first, and uh, then we got banished to the wall because we supposedly killed some of, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Snow guy. Not Jon Snow. Ram Ramsey Snow. We supposedly killed one of his guys, um, even though we were just defending ourselves. So the squire got banished to the wall. Um, Ethan, I think his name is, the little lord of Ironwood. Um, he, uh, he died. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think Ramsey Bolton would kill him, but, uh, man, didn't see that coming. Uh, what else happened? We were also the chick, Mira, um, with, uh, so we tried to get Lady Marjorie's help, and she couldn't. So, yeah, that didn't work. So now, what a someone's dead and uh it's all falling apart let's begin i did not make the best choices but man i can't wait to see Jon snow that's gonna be fun wonder what we're gonna do with the wall previously on game of thrones these are dark days i fear to risk an alliance with the crown it's a risk i'm willing to take for Tyrion. your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother rash we don't want white hill men within these walls you can be my highborn ward my lord if you want a hostage take me Totally forgot they took my little brother. Uh, I know I said this in the last part, but Ramsay Bolton is the most evil person in all of Game of Thrones since since Joffrey. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Asher Forrester, Young Kai. Ooh, Young Kai! Three days after liberation. Oh, this is after Daenerys uh, Whoa, freed us. It's just me, Vesta. Took you long enough. Your ale's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Hope we run into Daenerys. That'd be awesome. You can stop pacing. This stuff is They'll weak compared to Northern Ale. Northern Ale. The King of the North. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Eh. Man. Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste of time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. Does it smell off to you? It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves and murderers and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. <laughs> I know I do. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. 
Who? Oh. Oh. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. He looks fine. Fat and scared. Good. Let him stay that way. Until we collect our gold, at least. 800 gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky Who is us. he? Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? We've not been paid yet, Vesta. Can't spend dragons you don't have. We'll have them soon enough. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. That's why I'm left. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Queen. A man doesn't choose who he loves. My family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, you have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. What's why when the time is... Oh, why? You're not that drunk, are you? Sorry. Okay. Vesta, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on this army. They do. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? Now cut your fucking throat! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? I guess I look for the slave master. Here. 400 dragons. They must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. <laughs> ah, great. <laughs> Give us 800 and you can have it. Don't be an asshole now. We're all Seltors here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood among us. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Oh. Well, now no one gets the bounty. And we're done with you, too. Tazal, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bessa. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osenas! Ojos me nomi jahos to kisikan! Uh, flip table! Alright, who dies first? Who wants to dance again? Oh, we do. Oh, to right. Kill them! Why? Oh, well, I died. <laughs> oh, all men must die. Sana Morghulis. That's cool. 
Um, let's try that again. <laughs> Why? Yeah, we do it. Stab. Oh gosh. Down. To you. I'm not doing so well. Yeah, I do. Gosh, smash it! Why? Oh, <laughs> make a good team. This is for Volanti, Bester. Oh, get the sword. Fuck you, Ash. X. Sazal, cost me my gifts. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we just killed Don't six guys. <laughs> that brothel in Novas. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. Okay. Uh, now man, I'm so tired of quick time events. Who's this? All the gods of fire and force. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Oh, 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 that's right. That ended well. Same guy. Same More guy. <laughs> we need to go. How do you get the young guy so fast? Come on. Malcolm. Damn. Oh. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Alright, let's go home. Telltale story. Uh, who's this? What? Oh, uh, please don't be Ramsey Snow. Kaka! Roderick Force. He's alive? Damn foresters. He couldn't hear you. So fucking far away. Smash A. Father. Father. I can't believe he's alive. That's crazy. That's far enough. I come from the twins that are in the dead of House Forrester. Lordly tots from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. <laughs> what have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a lord. I, uh, a stable boy I was, in Bannerman's clothes. 
you did this at Duskendale, <laughs> and you have the oh. fucking souls to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have forests to take. The forest. <sighs> Look at it. Please. <laughs> now. Boy, I'm top of the river then. <laughs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? Oh, you oh, 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 lousy sheep fucker. <laughs> Mash, mash, why? What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? What? Don't stand there and help me. I could use some help. Roderick? Roderick? Oh, for God's it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Wow, unbelievable. Game of Thrones infamous for killing off characters and leaves a character alive. Oh, I bet I lost an arm or something. Leg. My lord, you should not be awake. Alas, oh, the milk of a puppy. Drink. Rats. Roderick. My lady. <laughs> I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No, Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. <laughs> well... So I got an arm and a cast and a splint on my leg. It's not a cast, but a sling. I haven't heard that one before. Nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think I've lost you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm fine. Don't worry. You don't look fine. How bad is it? <laughs> Maester Altengren says oh, your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Yeah. Ethan is dead. Ethan. Saw that coming. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. Make Ramsey pay for what he did. I promise. Good. They're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> no, dear. You're stronger than that. What now? It's 
been chaos here since you died. With White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I will do what I must to preserve House Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you, I just... It's all right. So I think we'll go a little more aggressive this time. I know you time. still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Tali. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... Yeah, let's go. I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. <sighs> I miss you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. You need a cane or something. I know you can. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Too fast. I'm fine. Bring me a cane or something. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? Up we go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> So, I, if I remember correctly, Duncan Everyone is will be dead. So glad to see you up. Though I think you'll find that much has changed. And I think we're gonna go a little more aggressive than uh, we were with Ethan. Achievable. <gasps> the wall. Scared. Okay. For Tuttle. Oh yeah, that's right, because we're just a squire. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Awesome. <gasps> the wall. Oh. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Anything else we can look at? I hope that douchebag, I don't know his name, the guy who was giving Jon Snow a hard time, I hope he's not around. Never get used to the art style. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. 
Sure. Frostfinger. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. All right. Use stairs. Don't remember him from the series. Maybe no. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come. You train. You fight. You die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. How does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the war? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forrester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. Then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. And yes. now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Understood. Wow, achievements left and right. It's about 10 gamer score every 10 minutes. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he's still eating shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. What was the point of putting White Hill soldiers in Iron Wrath? Don't well, remember. I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Had a run-in with Walder Clay, cool. did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him in the corpses. Forrester's Real first. shame about your leg, Lord. Oh, you toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Shut up. We have business in the Great Hall. Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Great, another fight on our hands. I wonder what's weaker. Your leg. Or this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Oh yeah. Go on then. 
mano. Put him in his place. Those cogs would not work. It's ridiculous. You're treating them the like wine gang. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they ride? Oh no, Duncan's You're not a dumb okay. fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lord. Roderick. Hey, ma'am. My boy. Come join us. Ma'am. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. All right. It's Time to show some aggression. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. They call this walking. I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole Duncan. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. But we don't have one. Not anymore. Do whatever it takes. Ryan will not remain hostage at High Point. Perhaps it's time to talk about the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well... Much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Our betrothed is coming to Ironbath. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see him. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Okay. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. She's not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy. She can do the same for you. Lack of confidence, huh? If Elena does come to Ironer, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, there's nothing more to discuss. Seems like a good idea. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Oh, this is the Welcome funeral. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be that. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him, and Ethan. How 
How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. Last time you sang all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> but thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenrocks. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. The last time Mira tried that, it didn't go so well. So, and we said we shouldn't have asked for Lady Marjorie's help. It's entirely ridiculous. Man, 20 it's game not the flowers, this time. it's the food or the table setting. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. Oh, yeah. And mm, something nice after that. Uh, yeah. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. Yeah, it is. And the seal. Here you are. Cool. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. We didn't see, we never see a whole lot of uh, Lady Marjorie's uh, I have a letter for father. Lady Mira Forrester. Oh, great. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glen will remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, uh. it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. Yeah, let's, let's not do it. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Yes, sir, he can. We won't make her do anything. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Oh, no, no, don't forge now. If Lady Marjorie this letter now forge a letter finish letter yeah finish the letter i'm sorry roderick sir maynard you are hereby invited mira lady marjorie sent me to pick up the letters oh sir maynard oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. Eh, you know. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. 
Man, Sarah is going to be the death of <laughs> death of us all. Oh, back of the wall. Good, good. This oh, guy. Fuck hey. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know what I've got to say to the wall? The wall was erected over eight thousand years. The realms from wild ones, white walkers, At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordlings. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Kid potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes. What? No! <laughs> stone rolls. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was on. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here for who in seven hells is talking back there? Total. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? No, it was me. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants don't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Jon Snow. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. To do our training. Look at Castle Black. Demonstrate your combat skills. Let's do the swords first. How do I practice gunning? Log. Ah, eh, we'll do thing first. Archery. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these where I. Oh, he shot himself in the foot. <laughs> Mansrader will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Mash. Why? All right. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Ah. Oh. Hey. Okay. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Good. Right target. Chest. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. 
one less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely Yay. done. Jon Snow. My second favorite character next to Tyrion Lannister. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, oh, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Oh, <laughs> right off his head. Don't tell, all right? All right, I won't tell. I don't think you take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. Let's do the combat skill thingy. Ah, sword rack. Sword. Which, uh, which one? Grab, grab, grab. I don't know. Which one? Let's do this, this one. This one should do. That's a nice one. I'll be sparring with you today. Right. Remember, your blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Okay. Hopefully it's just quick time events. Hey. <laughs> Chest. Come on, keep at it. Hex. Uh, what next? B. Well fought. Lucky. Oh, now we gotta fight him, probably. Okay, good. Now we'll do the uh, thingy with the bags. Or no, with the barrels, that's right. No, I'm not. I'm not scrawny. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wild things down to their fucking bones. Right. Pitch? I can do this. E. Up <gasps> we go. <sighs> Want some help? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, what do I have to do? What? Are we just gonna keep walking forward or? Oh, no, no, no. no, no. Hey. We can do this. Don't hurt yourself, Tom. Strain my back. We did it. You completed the strength I'm challenge. thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his hands. If the thing has it frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. I think he likes me. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? Fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my... 
my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Defend life. Hey, do something. I fucking warned you. Oh. I won't say it again. If you ever hit me again, I swear I'll be your oh. Alright, let's just uh, give, him a, give him a punch or two and. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get there it. they go again. X B <laughs> A Get off. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended me. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Crossfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. Huh. You, come with me. All right. Shot! No. Oh, he still had it. <laughs> nice. All right, I think we're about at the halfway point. We're a little past it. Is there an achievement? This way. Okay, we'll look at the next one. <laughs> I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we can listen to the musicians in the evenings, Lady Marjorie. You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You will see. Calling me Cersei's finest wine. Let's not drink that and get drunk. <laughs> You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. Nah. Suit yourself then. So, I, uh... Sarah's gonna get us in so much trouble. <laughs> wow, she is really sipping that back. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Nero, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. <sighs> I need you to promise. Uh, Sarah, just tell just me. tell me. Right. Fine. I didn't promise anything. Please, keep it a secret. I promise nothing. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Bowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Who cares? I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But it's always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been, to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. I'm... 
I'm so sorry, Sarah. I thought it was going to be juicier than that. <laughs> Jack, I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. You'll just have to find another way, sir. I would, but... Maybe you're right. I know your family's yeah, troubles yeah. are much greater than mine. Like what happened to your brother, your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Tyrion, yay! A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies, what have we here? If we mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? White. He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sell theory, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Oh good, he's on our side. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> My lady. Yeah, that's smart. If they make more ships out of uh, ironwood, then it won't burn. Won't make the same mistake as Stannis. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be kind. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I ask you. Andros? She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man 
to take such matters lightly. Nor am Tell I. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Clarence Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. Oh, uh... I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood? Yeah. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. We'll have him at your mercy. Yeah, we will. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Awesome. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave or very foolish. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us or very bad for you. For your sake. I hope it's the former. My lady. Wow. All right, let's take a break and look at some achievements. Complete chapter five. We only got two, th two or three more chapters. Uh, chapter four, three, two, one. What else do we need? Chapter 6 of episode 2, chapter 7, and complete episode 2, Night. Night? Someone's gonna get knighted. Are we back in Yunkai? Yeah. Is Daenerys still around? I forget. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellswords, and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft. With the second son. Oh, the second son, that's what They're it is. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Uh, okay, something's gonna happen. Well. 
This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Okay. Ponte Trenas. Young Kai Heron Josi Botagon Costoti da Or. So I think Daenerys already left. He says don't do it. Okay. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. It's you fine. did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It's not that long. It won't be easy. It's up the coast. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. That wouldn't be good. Mirror's quarters, okay. Oh, not Cersei, please. I hate how they make you walk five feet and then it's just another cutscene. Open call out bust in peak. Peak. Mira. Oh boy. What's gonna happen? letters from my family what would someone want with them what was this look at book there's someone going through my book someone broke my vase let's uh, read this note I have information that will aid you with the inn. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. It'll help me help him or to help me destroy him. What does it mean, there. help me with him? That should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. You'll be fine, mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> well, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you 
are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... Of several in question? Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man that she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. It's advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Okay, let's uh, go meet our wife. Oh. Uh, pretty. You look... Welcome to Ironrath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. My brother's name is Aethys. He died. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... <laughs> so easy to find. We always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. We don't need to convince her. <laughs> but Roderick, Aileen, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. My family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. Well, why not? <laughs> They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. <sighs> I wish I could stand by you, Roderick. But I have to be practical. Elena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Elena, we need your army. Without you, our family may not survive. I'm sorry, but I have to think of my family too, Roderick. Dang it. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but he... So, the rumors are true. 
You well, have not no this right guy to again. Just... And if it isn't Elena's landlord, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Grill needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral. And his family. Not until I'm certain that you know me best. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrived from Heronhill. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Love. Enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. Oh. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, Sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Robert. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing when we get to see Ryan again. Fine. Last time we bent the knee, he died, though. Taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood. Pond. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow. I said. know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Do you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Ruth Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. By the way, my men have a name for you. Broderick the Ruin. Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. Well, we screwed up again. My lord, are you well? No. I'm going to kill that man. Chivo! Still 20 game explorers. We got two, one or two more chapters to go. John Snow! You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. 
couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black, and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Crossfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and the next... Frey's cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run and the Falklands are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, no place is here with the Night's Watch. Even though nothing, almost, almost never anything happens. A little bit of the history and how there was like what twelve castles and now only there three are made. Who will hate you for who you are? Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. We can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Oh. Can't deny that view. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> you serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? It's important to House Forrester. Better keep that to yourself. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. They won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold. <laughs> Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Oh, 
what now? Back in King's Landing, I think. What are we doing again? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, someone left us a note. I'm here. Where are you? Huh. <gasps> oh, the bush is gonna get us. Oh. Kaka! Oh. <gasps> is that Brienne of Tarth? Where do you oh. think you're going? At this time of night. I'm meeting someone. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. You are needed. Now! If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease with them. Oh, it's the dude. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Jamie. You were in the throne room earlier. Did you leave me this note? I did. very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all this secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. Oh, what? A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I hate to see you suffer. Oh, no. <gasps> what do I do? <coughs> uh, back. Back. <coughs> Book it. No, 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 no. I don't want it. Not want. Not want. No. Let us go. Oh boy. Oh crap, it's gonna drown him. No, 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 no. No. Must murder. This isn't going to end well for me, but I'm going to murder him. Attack Damien, run for, attack him. Oh boy, you're okay. You? What? What? What happened? What? What was that? What did it look like? He tried to kill me. Why would he do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. I know a few places in Three Bottom. No one will ever find me. Good luck, and be careful. I gotta watch the blood off her face. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Oh, where do we hide the knife? Keep the knife, toss the knife. Keep the knife. Jeez, that was intense. Got another achievable. Oh, good, uh, Ryan's here. Hi, 
Mordred! The team. We'll Is give him a it? hug. Mordred. They said you were gone. Nice to snow did this. You did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? You have one of us again. Because you're a coward. I know you will. You deserve this. Ryan, you know I'm not a coward. Foresters stand together. That's enough. Your little chat is over. I will speak with my brother. I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to High Point back now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Audric, you should speak to Mother. Audric? Are you going to forget about me? Are you? I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Mother. Who joined the others? His rope bearer. My son. But see, I've taken him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our land destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fight. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Uh, okay, I don't know what to say. Did I ever want it to be? He showed me what it is to be a lord. He built his own rubble. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan. this family well though I was not there to see it you would have been proud we honor Lord Gregor Forrester my husband my love and our Lord Ethan this sweet little boy It's time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. That's really sad. Uh, 
four, three, two, left to right. is born to us we all return father brother i've sworn i've sworn to guard this rest you've earned i'd bear my neck to short the bastard's breath. Take me as hostage, O my Lord. He saved a soul from death. Fight on, fight on, Ethan the brave. Old gods bear steel Wow. That was one powerful song. That's it? No! What is going on? What is going on? Roxas, you, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill leads the Griff Whitehill leads the torment roster. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuckle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. So anything else for us to be worried about? What was that? Holy crap. Are we going to see dragons next episode? <gasps> Night. Oh, that was the chapter. We're going to get the... Maybe not. I don't know. Um, you and... So we did not forge Marjorie's letter. That's it's good we didn't. Uh, kiss Lord Whitehill's ring. We, we shouldn't have done that. I wasn't going to, but then the mother made a very good case to see uh, Ryan again. Uh, fifty-four percent lost uh, betrayal. I or betrothal. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. We'll figure it out. Ninety-six point one stood up for Cotter after he stole Finn's knife. Wow, that's a big majority. And uh, we killed the attacker. The cool boy, very important character, I think. Um, anything else? That's it. From eyes, from eyes, we've born. 
This is a good song. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch the credits though. Uh, Daenerys. Wonder if we're gonna see a dragon next episode. Anyways, in the next part, we will play chapter three of Game of Thrones from Telltale Games. Coming soon. <gasps> Dracarys. I don't know what that means. But we might actually see her this time. Do the dead frighten you? Six episodes? What? Thought it was only five. Anyways, uh, okay, so until the next part, thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.